Hey family, what's going on? Klaus here and welcome back to our 5v5 Fridays and of course as you know 5v5 Fridays is where I take five of my personal accounts and I go do a war and do all of those war attacks live or as many as I can unless they are scouts which as you can see three of those are scouts on the uh, on the screen but before we get into the epic clash of clans war attacks and hopefully not so many fails let's hear from today's video's sponsor do you need some gems but can't afford to buy them well now you can get gems for free by using the mobile app app bounty with app bounty you can get free paypal gift cards which is basically free cash download the app from the link in the description below and claim your starting bonus using app bounty is easy all you have to do is download different mobile apps and complete the challenge that you're asked to do you can easily get five to ten dollars worth of credits if you put in a little bit of time 10 minutes here and there or whenever you have time to kill and in a few days boom free cash to buy gems or whatever else that you want to use it on once you have collected enough credits for the gift cards that you want just go ahead and purchase it app bounty will approve it and you can spend it as you wish download app bounty from the link in the description and start earning free cash right now and if you're asked for an invite code use the code klaus all right, guys, so with that, let's check out what I've got going on. I have my Max 11 and my Rushed 11. I have my Max 10 and my New 10, and I have my Max 8, okay? That is the Town Hall breakdown that I've got, while my opponent is a bit different. Uh, they got their 11. They have a 10, they have a 10, they have an 11 bef below the 10, and then they have a 10 before that, uh, below that 11. So what's the what's the deal? Like, why is there an extra 11? And how in the world am I going to do anything with my Town Hall 8? Well, I figured maybe this Town Hall 10 doesn't have very many defenses, but that is not the truth. It actually does have their Infernos and all the things. So my Town Hall 8 pretty much had no, no way to add any value to this war. Uh, so I went ahead and scouted with my 8, and then I attacked this base with my my new 10, and things just did not go well at all. Uh, so let's just say three of my attacks, we're going to erase those three attacks. I've got seven attacks left, and we are going to attempt to get a perfect war in seven attacks. So, guys, I am on Apollyon since, or Apollo, since I've already used all my attacks on my Town Hall 8, because again, Town Hall 8s can't 3-star Town Hall 10s. Though that would have been awesome. I tried. I tried my best. Uh, but now I'm back on Apollo. I've done the one attack and that didn't go very well. I scouted this Town Hall 11. But as you can see, guys, the defenses on this Town Hall 11 are pretty good. Um, I don't think that my Town Hall 10 can three-star this Town Hall 11. Even though it doesn't have the Inferno or the Eagle. It's, this just got really strong defenses. So I'm going to skip number four. And I'm going to back up and attack number three with Apollo. Okay, there's a very easy entry point for my Go Hobo, which is my my favorite attack strategy at Town Hall 10. The easy entry is right here through the Queen's compartment. If I could break through that wall and then break through this wall, I get access to the Infernos and the enemy clan castle and the Town Hall. I've got Valkyries in the CC, and so what that'll do is that'll gut the middle. If I can get my heroes to go in, follow, I'll take out the enemy, uh, enemy Queen and the enemy CC, and then my Hogs can wrap around and destroy the base all right so that's my plan let's see if we can actually make it happen okay also one thing on my tunnel 10 my dark spell factory is upgrading so i cannot train any dark spell so i can't train bats i can't train poison spell i'm basically gonna have to uh to depend on my poison spell that i got in my clan castle which is going to be a little bit more difficult because normally i have an extra poison but well, that's enough talk let's get into the action guys in three two one bam all right, so here is this is gonna have to be very fast, okay? Golem, Wall Wrecker, King. Uh, let's go Queen. Let's go Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon. Get a few wizards out there too. And I really want. There we go. Okay, so this is good. Everything's following right now. Let's get a uh, a poison or a freeze right there on that Inferno Tower. The CC has now been lured. All right, let's drop a poison. Let's also freeze again. Yes. All right, we got the CC on a freeze too. That's awesome. Did I say fridge? I meant freeze. All right, uh, let's get a rage and a uh, maybe another freeze. Let's freeze again. Yes. All right. Nice. All right. So that's good. That means that the 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 CC is going to go down for sure because my queen is targeting it. Let's go pop the queen's ability. That goes down. And now, without any more delay, let's get our hogs in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I've got my heals too, and that's the enemy king. So I'm going to heal um, straight into that compartment. I want to make sure that uh, the enemy king doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Let's heal the hogs as they approach into the inferno tower. And then definitely, lastly, we want to heal into probably um, 
Well, okay, we're okay for right now. We're okay for right now. I definitely want to heal into splash damage. So right there. Okay, perfect spot. Perfect spot. So, uh, man. All right. So I think we're okay. Um, I'll start cleaning up maybe on the outside corner. I don't know. And oh man. All right. So I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Come on. Come on, hogs. You got this, bros. You got this. <laughs> don't let me down, brothers. Don't let me down. All right. So the arch tower goes down. That expo will have to get um, reacquainted with some hogs over here. There we go. Get it down. Get it down. Yes. All right. So the last defense goes down and I've already deployed all of my wizards. So now it comes down to the hogs. They have to take out all the cleanup. We got a few wizards up here at the corner um, and the rest. Let me see. There's no corner buildings. Nope. All right. So that's awesome. So the wizards will help out with the cleanup, but it's going to come down to the hogs in clearing up all the internal buildings, the storages and the clan castle and all that. Fortunately, we just avoided that giant bomb. So that was good. Uh, because we definitely need them to stay alive in order to three-star this base. Also, fortunately, we do have a wizard who is on his way across the way now, just in case these hogs uh, hogs get punked, which would be terrible. But I think we're going to be okay, guys. These hogs are uh, we're at 99% right now. The king seems like he knows what's going on, but too late. We're going to three-star that base with Gohobo without a poison spell. Like, we had the CC, but not the one I'm used to having. And that, my friends, is a Town Hall 10v10 three-star, which is awesome. Now, I know a lot of you are probably really curious about what went wrong with this attack. Like I said, it went so badly that I don't even want to show you guys. But I'll show you guys for the sake of laughing at it, okay? It's really bad. Um, so the approach is supposed to be down here. I'm going to play it in 4x mode so we don't waste a lot of time. But basically, Golem went down. King veered off in one direction. Queen veered off in the other direction. We did get the core gutted. But you, as you can see, that CC Electro Dragon uh, it, it causes some problems. We're not able to kill the enemy Queen or the enemy CC. Uh, I even dropped some Wizards down to, to kill it. So that Electro Dragon in the CC causes way too many problems. And uh, and I'm just not able to get it down. So you've got to funnel because that was the problem. I didn't funnel, um, and you got it. You got to take out the enemy queen and the enemy CC if you want this attack strategy to work. So Apollo is done now. I've got my three star for the day with him. So now I need to switch up to Jasper, get some more Tunnel Ten attacks in, and we're going to attempt to three star that Tunnel Ten that just punked Apollo. All right, guys, I've got Jasper now, my max Town Hall 10. I don't need a power potion. I don't need anything. This guy is 100% completely max Town Hall 10 and should be able to handle this base no problemo. I just have to make sure that I get a funnel established that's actually worth the darn, right? <laughs> so, um, also, the CC is an Electro Dragon. So, I think I'm going to delay a little bit in luring that client. No. No, we should definitely lure the clan castle earlier because the Electro Dragon moves so slowly, but we want to engage him before the queen dies. So we need to probably lure him very first, all right? So the idea is plug in through that, um, that looks like an upside down T-shaped compartment with the queen inside of it. Break into that, get the king and the queen in there. Um, freeze on that single inferno and get that CC and the enemy queen down. And then the Valkyries should gut the entire core and pop any giant bombs and stuff and have some fun with it. All right, so without any more delay, let's go. Let's smack a base. I got everything set up, right? I'm good? Yeah, I'm good. All right, guys, so let's drop a, uh, an, a hog to get a lure. Let's get the golem and the wall wrecker. I'm gonna get a baby dragon on either side to try to create a pretty solid funnel. Um, this is the last thing you want to do is have a bad funnel. All right, let's, uh, let's actually freeze and poison on top of that. There we go. All right, so I, I didn't really mean to, but I froze the enemy CC, which was awesome. Um, and uh, and let's see. Ooh, okay, rage. There we go. So we're gonna rage up the Valkyries that were in the CC. Pop that King's ability. I'm actually gonna freeze over that Inferno Tower too. And everything is funneled in very nicely right now, guys. This is awesome. So poison spell over the Electro Dragon. And now I'm gonna watch just a bit to see. Uh, which direction the king and the queen and everybody's gonna go looks like they're gonna go off to the left So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get a good early deployment of hogs out here pop drop that a uh, wall breaker to maybe get the uh, uh, The king to go in and follow the hogs. All right, everything is looking good so far Make sure and heal on the edge to make sure we get that funnel. Okay, so everything is looking pretty good so far um, I've only got heals left. I have no freeze. I have no poison spell. We have to just make sure we stay on task here All right i um, thinking heal that giant bomb in the face. All right, let's drop a wizard actually over there to take out that cannon if we can. Come on, come on, come on, get down cannon. There we go, very nice. 
All right, and that giant bomb does very little damage, so we're okay there too. And I think I want to heal right in the face of this wizard tower. All right, so let's heal right in there. Very nice. And is there any corner buildings that I need to... Uh, do I need to take out? Nope, not really. All right, let's pop that queen's ability, save a little bit of time, and that, my friends, will be two for two in live attacks of Go Hobo. Uh, again, it's all about the funnel. It's all about taking get that CC and the enemy queen, and this will be a very fast and furious two-minute three-star. Again, Town Hall 10 v 10. So that's how you get it done, guys. Jasper comes in with the three-star, and now I think the war is looking pretty good now. Yeah, five stars in so far. Um, they have 10. Oh, wait. Six stars in so far, guys. And there is one more Town Hall 10. So let me let me explain to you the, the benefit of three-starring this Town Hall 10. I mean, obviously, it would just be a good idea to get a three-star, right? But if we three-star this Town Hall 10, then that means that there are two bases left in the war. And I've got two accounts left that each have two attacks. So basically what that means is that I would have two chances for each base to three-star it. So we've, it would be so, so great to pull off a three-star against number two. And then uh, we'll be sitting pretty for the rest of the war. So, guys, I am going to um, get my CC, make sure my heroes are awake, and we're going to try for that six-pack with Jasper. That Barbarian King is finally awake, guys, and can we go three for three in three-stars? That would be amazing, because then we're on our way to having a perfect war in five attacks. If you don't count these scouts and stuff at the beginning. So let's actually bounce right in and make a plan. I haven't started this base near as much as the other ones. Okay, this is e this is easy. Um, so as long as we break into this compartment here, we have access to the queen and we have access to the clan castle. All right. And if we can get our Valkyries to get in there and rage the core, then they'll gut the core, creating a very nice external path for the hogs to kind of wrap around. That's the plan. The funnel should be easy and um, it will be fun. But we also got to make sure we keep our freezes handy to uh, freeze the single infernos because we've got to make sure that that wall wrecker breaks all the way through and this second group of walls here might be, might be a problem. We'll just have to see. So let's go ahead and start the attack off and it's going to be fun, guys. Let's go. All right, so golem. Let's go wall wrecker. And then I've got to get my funnel. So let's get some wizards out there. And I would say baby dragon maybe right right there. There we go. Bowlers, king, and queen. Okay. So it looks like we're in pretty good shape so far. I need that queen to hurry up and break through. Let's freeze all those things. Look at that. That queen and the CC. And the Inferno Tower were frozen. Let's freeze that one more time. Bam! That's that's action right there, man. That is awesome. Let's uh, poison that. Pop that King's ability. And that core is completely and utterly gutted, guys. I'm going to watch just for a second to make sure that I get that um, Electro Dragon down. There we go. All right. And then Hogs, you just have some fun with this, all right? Have some fun with it. I don't see any giant bombs just yet, so nothing. Oh, never mind. All right. Let's heal right in the face of the giant bombs. All right. Cool, cool. Uh, let's get some cleanup action going over there. Uh, Queen's ability, because I don't, definitely don't want to lose her prematurely. That would be the worst. Queen is actually doing a great job taking out some key defenses right now, guys. All right, let's heal right there. We want to heal earlier rather than later. I know the queen went down, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to pop some, drop some wall breakers too. Oh, giant bomb! Double giant bomb. Oh, my goodness. Wow, that was amazing. All right, um, the cleanup is good right now, so we're, we're okay, we're okay. Is there a giant bomb right there? There is, oh my goodness. All right, drop that heal, and now let's baby dragon on this side to potentially distract the archer tower if we get lucky. No, I think that we're a little late on that. All right, that's fine, and we will get some, uh, let's get some archer action. One lucky archer to uh, remove the uh, builder hut down there, and it looks like the plan worked perfectly, guys. The entire core was gutted. The CC, the Queen, the King, the Valkyrie's under rage spell just completely obliterated. And then the heal spells were able to keep the hogs alive just long enough. And then the wall breakers came in handy with the, the cleanup action on the right hand side too with that uh, wizard. So, dude, seriously, that attack went perfectly. And we went three for three and three stars. We are now perfect. Well, still perfect in this video in Tunnel 10v10 three stars, which is amazing. And Jasper 
My Max Tunnel 10 is back in action. He's got his mojo back because this guy, he's thrown down three stars many, many times. It's funny, I'm talking about it as if it's not me that just did it. I'm just so used to thinking of all my different accounts as characters in these Let's Plays and these series that I do. And they're all coming together in like this all-star game here for these 5v5 Fridays. But anyway, so there's a three-star, guys. And now we have two Town Hall 11s left and i have my two town hall 11 accounts that have two attacks apiece so we are we're sitting pretty right now guys so let me switch over to lincoln now hopefully i have a power potion because he has terrible troops and uh and and we'll try to uh three star number four that would be amazing so i'll be right back once i've got it all set up I do have a power potion, so let's smack it. And now, guys, I have the Town Hall 11 version of Go Hobo. I've had people complain. They're like, why do you use the same attack strategy? It works. That's why. I think that three straight three stars with on all different bases using this attack strategy proves that. But if you want even more proof, then let's get in here and let's smack this Town Hall 11 right here, guys. Um, again, this is a 10 on 11 without Infernos and without an Eagle Artillery, but I still thought that the point defenses and the Wizard Towers and the, the heroes especially were too strong to take out with a Town Hall 10. So now we need to look at this base and figure out the best approach. Obviously, we've got to take out the enemy queen, uh, but we've also got to lure and kill this enemy clan castle. So what I can do is I can approach from the left-hand side, kind of wall wrecker straight at the Town Hall, and I could maybe lure the clan castle with a hog on potentially like this wizard tower, see the range, or maybe even this cannon over here. So we, we, got, we got options, but I think that we're going to be okay. The only problem will be potentially the funnel. So I might have to like, uh, I might have to like suicide my king in there, you know, sniggle and take out this stuff and send the wall record right in here. And maybe a few, um, like a baby dragon on this side or something just to make sure I get that funnel. But as soon as I get everybody in, we should be okay. So... Without any delay, let's just go straight in there, shall we? Let's not do, let's not waste time. All right, let's go. Wait, do I need the free spells? Free spells are almost always useful. I'm gonna go and hold on to them. Normally, I use them for single infernos, uh, but I might just use them to freeze something else. We'll see. So let's go, guys. Let's do this. And all right, first things first. Obviously, golem. Then uh, wall wrecker. Let's get the king. Let's get a baby dragon on either side. Get a couple of wizards on either side. Let's get the queen. And I'm gonna save the warden for potentially the, um, for potentially the, I can't even think right now. Okay, there's that CC. There is that CC. What was I, what was I gonna say? I don't even remember anymore. Uh, let's freeze all of that. Let's pop that king's ability. Oh, save the warden for the hogs. That's what I was gonna say. That's definitely what I was going to say. So the Valkyries are cutting in and destroying bases right now. Let's get the bowlers in there because I forgot to put them down. That's okay. Um, and there we go. CC is now fast approaching my queen. I'm going to freeze and I'm going to pop that queen's ability. And there you go. She is she is down and she is ready to rock. So let's go. Hogs in here. We're going to go uh, Grand Warden and follow them. All right. And let's get a heal spell ready. All right. I've got it right here. We definitely want to heal into that corner. Uh, Queen is wrapping around nicely, too. I've still got my Warden's ability. I mean, I could just use the Warden's ability. I have no reason to hold on to it. I guess we should, maybe? I don't know. Let's go... When, I'm gonna pop my Warden's ability as soon as I see a giant bomb. Actually, that bomb tower. You know what? We'll free... We'll heal... Or, uh, we'll use his ability in the face of that bomb tower. Alright, there we go. Let's heal that. Because I got nothing going off to the right, which is not the plan at all. Uh, but I think it'll be okay. The pathing was a little rough, but it'll be okay. All right, so let's heal that. Cool, cool. Go, Hogs. You got this, bros. You got this. And then I've got the rage spells, too. So maybe I can... I'm gonna probably gonna have to rage the Hogs through this, too. This is a this was a big base, man. Such a big, wide-open base. And with with a, an army composition like this, it looks like it's going to be... It's going to fall just short, guys. Oh, man. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. Uh, let's... Wall break, and let's drop an archer, but it doesn't look like the hogs are going to be able to clear it up. There's just not enough left. The uh, king, unfortunately, kills my queen. Now, the, again, remember, this queen was only level 37. Like, she's rushed. The king was rushed. This was my not-so-good Town Hall 11. So that's an 84% two-star right there. I really needed the three-star, and I'm sad that I'm not going to get it for you guys. I was really hoping to get, like, a perfect war in only five attacks you know that would have been amazing but unfortunately that it was just not the case i should have saved the warden's ability a little bit i think 
Maybe not have healed in that corner. Remember the beginning in the corner? There was no splash damage. There were no giant bombs. Right there. That's where I healed. So now we know. I mean, with that scout now, we know where the giant bombs are. And we can plan ahead. We can plan accordingly to make sure that we get our uh, bowlers into the attack. Because <laughs> I forgot to deploy my bowlers. But also, we can make sure um, that, we, uh, that we actually heal where we need to, not where we think we need to. Right? If that makes any sense. But there we go. So the archer, 85% two-star. Not terrible for a terribly rushed Town Hall 11. So here's what we're going to do here, guys. Um, I'm going to request for CC, and then I'm going to wait for my heroes to wake up. And I'm going to go ahead and just gem those right now. Not gem them, but boost. All right, there's one boost. There's another boost. And then there is a uh, another boost. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to switch over to my max 11, and we're going to three-star that 11 we just dealt on. All right, I'm on Archimedes, my number one base, and this is the last chance I get to actually three-star this base, so I've got to make it count. But I've made a few adjustments, as you can see here. Uh, I got rid of the free spells, so I just didn't feel like I needed them. Um, I also have, well, that's really the only change. That's the only change. I thought I'd change more than that, but that's okay. The entry worked. The uh, CC lure worked. Um, the, uh, the deployment of the hogs actually is important because we have a giant bomb right in there. So I can put one hog in there, uh, trigger that giant bomb instead of all of my hogs soaking up that giant bomb. We've also got one on the inside, so maybe the Valkyries will trip it. There are two giant bombs in the right, which leaves two more likely up here on the very top. So, um, let's not forget our bowlers. Let's use our extra heal spell to our advantage, and I think we will be just fine with the exact same strategy, just execute it a little bit better. So, without any more delay, let's get in there. Let's smack a base. Okay. So, Golem, Wall Wrecker. Let's go Bowlers. Let's go King. Let's go Baby Dragon, Baby Dragon. Let's get a couple of Wizards in here for the Funnel 2. And then the Queen. Alright. Let's go. Let's go uh, Early Rage, actually. Maybe the enemy Queen will go down. I need to get that CC lured now. Uh, let's actually pop that giant bomb out there, too. There we go. Very nice. Very nice. Pop that King's ability. Maybe Rage the Valkyries that are in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is looking good, guys. This is looking really good. All right, so the Valks are in there. They're getting wrecked. My queen is actually getting wrecked. That is not the best. Um, can we take out the dragon, please? Queen, what are you doing? Queen, why are you doing this thing? All right, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. Go, 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 go. Oh, that was suit. That was just. That was just too close, man. That was just way too freaking close. All right, so that uh the uh. Oh, yeah, that was scary. All right, let's go. All right, we got everything down that we needed to get down, so we're okay. Uh, but I got my warden. I've got my heal spells. And I'm going to actually go ahead and heal right in there because there is a giant bomb leading through there. All right, so where's the trigger of that giant bomb? It's It never happened. What in the world? It, it, it moved. <laughs> the, the giant bomb moved. That was crazy. All right, let's heal that. All right, I need to get some cleanup going. This is not looking great for cleanup right now. But I do have the extra heal, so let's actually pop the Warden's ability there. That'll get him through, or get the Hogs through a lot of base right now. All right, two Wizard Towers goes down during the Warden's ability, and one heal out here, and one heal out here, keeping those Hogs alive as long as possible, guys. Look at that giant bomb that we just punked. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, so we got um, some wall breakers that are going to do literally nothing. So I'm going to, like, search for little baby bombs to keep my hog riders alive. I'm having a bad split right now, guys. I should have held on to my archer. Oh, no. We got a bad split. Look at this army camp up here, guys. No, 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 no. This is bad. Okay, okay, okay. I need, I need some hogs to go off to the left. All right, I need some hogs to go off to the left. And while this group on the right does the clearing. Please. Come on! No! And this level 46 king is punking me too! This is terrible! Okay, we got like like two hogs left. This is okay. Uh, maybe the- Ooh, maybe the warden will turn! Turn warden! No! Don't! Why are you being this way to me right now? Stupid warden! I should have held on to the one archer until I knew what was going on. Oh my gosh, I think I'm about to get a 99% two star. Oh, no. Um, okay, go hogs. Go hogs. Go. Go hogs. Go. You've got time. Y'all, we, we don't have time. We, we're not going to get this, guys. This is not going to happen. <laughs> oh, man. Warden, you got this, bro. If I had a rage spell, I'd totally rage them right now. Yep, it's not even going to get a shot off. No! Crap on a spatula. <laughs> 
noob mistake ruins perfect war. That's the perfect title for this video. Oh man, 99% two star guys on a base that doesn't even have infernos. The fail was that one archer that I deployed in the wrong spot. Had I held on, it would have been a easy three star. Ay ay ay. Okay. All right, we, we can't cry over spilt milk. We got one more base to, to stomp here. So let me request for CC, and I'm going to go ahead and boost my king, and I'm going to boost my... Where's my queen? Boost my queen. All right, so we can get them back, and we need to switch back over to Lincoln and attack number one with our lower level 11, and then try to three-star. Basically, that one's going to be a scout, and then we're going to try to three-star with our town hall, our max 11. Okay, let's check out this base. It looks like we have a traditional island base, um, but there's a lot of stuff inside of those island compartments, which is kind of helpful. So what I'm seeing here is a, well, obviously, okay, so obviously we have to dive in through the, through the, the right-hand corner. We got to dive in, take out that eagle, and then get that town hall, okay? We cannot go without getting that town hall, so that means that our wall wrecker needs to survive a very long time, but fortunately, this approach should be foolproof um, because we actually um, we will get to the CC and we'll get the enemy queen with this with this approach so uh, yeah do I have my free spells with this one I do okay I might end up needing needing to to freeze like the eagle artillery or freeze the enemy queen in order to get the wall record to go all the way through so let's go and let's not fail a 99% stinking one star that was awful okay uh, golem, wall wrecker, good, good, baby dragon, uh, maybe get a bowler for some bowler bounce, maybe, uh, baby dragon out there, maybe another bowler for the bowler bounce, I don't know, uh, let's go king, let's go warden, let's go the rest of the bowlers, baby dragon's getting a funnel down nicely, very good, alright, but unfortunately I didn't have an extra <laughs> poison spell for the enemy queen, so we're kind of stuck right now, oh man, alright, so, um, thinking, uh, well, I don't know. Oh, there we go. Okay, so CC Lord, pop that King's ability. All right, and let's get a freeze on that because we just do not at all want to lose our wall record just yet. All right, Queen's gonna handle that Eagle Artillery. Or, um, I'm sorry, the E-Drag. And the wall wrecker is handling the Eagle Artillery, which is perfect. Okay, um, do I need to freeze the... No, I think we're good. I think that wall wrecker will make it all the way through. So now what we can do, pop that queen's ability. The Valkyries will handle that, no problem. Let's get the hogs going in through there. Wall breaker and warden, there we go. And I have a heal out here. And I've also got uh, lots of extra rages. Two extra rages, so this might be a learning, uh, something we can learn from here. Let's get a heal and a rage. I want to maybe try to get a few hogs to go in toward the core because for some reason, my Valkyries didn't make it. Woohoo! Oh, jeez. All right. Um, Warden's ability. I can hold on to it for just a moment. Right there. Right there. Should not have deployed it right there. <laughs> there is a tornado trap, though. That's cool. Let's drop a freeze on that wizard tower. And let's maybe uh, rage early through that. All right. So this is definitely not going to be the three star we were hoping for. Um, but you know what? We did good. I mean, all things considered, I think we did a fairly decent job. I'm going to get this wizard, and it's going to go up toward that town hall. I've got no spells left. Maybe this, uh, this <laughs> Grand Warden will turn and take out this town hall, too. At least so that we can say we got a two-star. There we go. All right, so with that wizard kind of approaching, and it never ran into any giant bombs, either. That's awesome. Um, okay, so here's the things that need to be changed for to, to actually get a three-star. Number one... Um, we want to, we do want to make sure we rage the Valkyries that are going to be going in against the Town Hall, because I didn't realize that the, uh, Town Hall would be trapped out by all the Teslas. I should have guessed, but I didn't know. Um, the other thing, ooh, the other thing to consider is potentially not healing where there are no giant bombs. We learned that from last time. We went from like a 80-something to a 99% something two-star when we did that. So, judging by the location, all the giant bombs are over here. There's one right there in the middle, too. And there's probably one next to this Inferno Tower. So, and there's none of them over here. I don't see any... I don't remember seeing any explosions or anything. So, 89% two-star. Let's see if we can three-star this stupid base with my max 11. And then we can say we were only 1% away 
from a perfect war. <laughs> Still so, so salty about that stupid 99% two star. <laughs> Let me switch accounts, guys. All right, guys, I've got my army ready to go, and this is what's going to be changing. The entry was honestly perfect. I mean, everything went exactly the way it needed to go. The only thing that I didn't do is I should have raged the Valkyries um, on this town hall. They will take out the Teslas, which will keep my hogs a lot more focused on their path here. Um, I don't think I need any heal spells down here because I don't think there are any giant bombs down there. Let me actually watch the replay, and you and me are going to make or take some mental notes together. And what is, what? Wi-Fi problems? Okay, we're finally back. I had to switch to a different Wi-Fi. I've got two here at my house for some reason. But anyway, so let's watch this replay and take some mental notes about uh, where the giant bombs are. All right, so the uh, entry looked good. I don't remember running into any giant bombs or anything in any of these spaces, actually. Uh, all this looks like, yeah, there's a little bomb. I don't think I see any big bombs. Um... Here comes the faithful moment when I didn't rage and the Valkyries got completely roasted. There's no giant bombs in any of that, so I don't really need to heal, I don't think, in most of it. There's two right here, so that definitely needs to be healed. There's one right there, and uh, also obviously one on the other side of that expo in case we need it. And then, what is that? One, two, three, four. Uh, that is five. All right, so that is five giant bombs. I think there are five at 10 or 11. I might be wrong. There might be one right in there somewhere but so our our heels were good just not quite what we needed all right so let's keep that mental picture and let's go three star this stupid town hall 11. <laughs> i'm so irritated still about that archer anyway let's go ready and bam okay uh let's go let's go um let's go golem Wall Wrecker. I'm gonna go Baby Dragon out here. I'm also gonna get a Bowler for some friendly Bowler Bounce. Let's get a Baby Dragon and a friendly Bowler Bouncer too on this side too. Let's also get the King and the Queen. All right, so everything has been set up now. Ba or I, I'm gonna need a better funnel than that. Hello, <laughs> the King. King is going the wrong direction, y'all. King is going in the wrong way, um, and so is the Queen now. That's not gonna work. Uh, let's drop a poison out there, and let's go. Okay, queen is down. This is good. This is great. Um, king's about to get roasted. Let me pop that king's ability right quick. And I think the uh, wall wrecker should be fine. It has to get through this wall though. Let me freeze this expo and this expo out here just to make sure that everything stays nice and smart. All right, and expo, come on. Come on, Expo! Don't do this to me, man! No! Or, I'm sorry, Wall Wrecker! Oh, no! And I, I, I forgot my Queen's ability! Oh, dude, this is the worst. This is bad. Alright, uh, I've gotta be- I've gotta be patient here, guys. The Valkyries are okay. This balloon- This balloon has to, um, has to go down here. It has to. So, let's go- Uh, let's go, uh, Valkyrie's about to go down here. So, this is okay. We're gonna go Bowler. And, Balloon, come on over here, buddy. Wizard, take out the balloon. They got the balloon, wizard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it. No. <laughs> Stupid balloon. There we go. All right, let's go. Hogs, I need you more right now than ever. Okay? More right now than ever. Um, the eagle artillery is down, so this is okay. This is all right. This is okay. I keep telling myself that because I'm nervous. Uh, let's go heal. Didn't, oh, I didn't even get the Teslas down because the Valkyries didn't make it through the wall. Oh my goodness, this is terrible. Okay. Um, yeah, this is bad. Um, feeling rage into the core. We got to gut that core. Warden's ability because of the giant bombs and such on the side. There's the tornado trap. Okay. Wall breakers to potentially distract some stuff. Let's heal. And looks like the hogs are doing decently, honestly. Surprisingly. <laughs> um, let's put, drop that archer on that altar over there. We're running out of time, but at least we're taking out more of the defenses than we were before. This all came down to that stupid wall wrecker not dying or uh, not getting through the eagle. I don't know what changed. I guess I did. I, um, I, I think I might have left the enemy queen. 
I should have froze the queen or something. I don't know, but that, my friends, could have been, if time permitted, it could have been a three star, but we ran out of time. That is a 91% two, or 91% one star, actually. That's not a two star, that's a one star, so. Ah, so close, yet so flipping far away. <laughs> Oh, man, and that is all of my attacks. I've used 10 out of 10 attacks. Had I, um, had I probably froze the enemy queen a lot earlier, that attack would have went way differently. So notice in these attacks, guys, one little change would have changed everything. Froze the queen. That would have been a three star. Put an archer on that army camp instead of on some hut in the corner. And this... 99% um, two star would have been a three star. The littlest of things would have made this a perfect war. And I really, really hope that maybe next time in the next episode of our 5v5 Fridays, I can uh, provide a three star for you guys or a perfect war for you guys to enjoy. We're getting closer. I think I did. Honestly, even though my star counts a little bit less this time, I think I'm getting closer and closer to perfecting and perf getting a perfect war. But Unfortunately, guys, that is all for me today. So, uh, unfortunate. Leaving on a negative note, but hey, we're learning from our mistakes, and that is the most important thing. So, guys, like the video if you liked it. Hit that subscribe button if you have not done so already for daily Clash of Clans videos. And, of course, 5v5 every Fridays. Make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, App Bounty. The link, again, is in the video description. Um, and don't forget to use promo code Klaus because that is just the smart thing for you to do. Get free points and earn free gems remember guys that i love each and every one of you oh and I'll, I'll be posting the results of this war tomorrow on my twitter so be sure and go follow me on twitter the link for that is also in the description again i love each and every one of you and i will see you all again next time